So I promised you guys a video a long time ago about power limiting the RTX 3090s and seeing the result of such because uh, they seem to draw a lot of power and it seems like uh, you're able to actually uh, limit the amount of power used um, and basically keep the same performance. So that's what I'm going to be looking at here with a machine that I'm going to be showing on, showing now. Uh, it's a machine that we just built for a customer running a dual 3090s with a 16-core AMD. Uh, it's nothing special, but it's definitely uh, a, a perfect case for uh, for for this test. So um, I'm going to jump onto it here. So the first thing you guys are going to need is MSI Afterburner. And make sure to download it from the right site. Go onto Google, search for MSI Afterburner, and download it from here. Once you get it open, um, we're going to be testing directly now with uh, Octane Bench at standard stock settings. Uh, so that means the power limit is going to be at 100%, and we're just going to run it just to show what stock speeds and stock uh, power uh, usage is on uh, this machine. So here's the result. 1366 points and let's get straight to uh, looking at the temperatures and wattage. So we're reaching mid 70s to start 80s in temperature and we are getting 350 watts per card. So we're just going to go straight ahead and move on to power limiting the card uh, or the cards. We're going to start with 60% power limit and uh, make sure to unlink the temperature between the power limit and the, temp and, uh, the temperature so it doesn't start limiting based on temperature either. We're going to set it to 90 because that uh, seems like it's a, a high point. Um, to just remember to clear your hardware monitor and set it to run again. So we're back here with around 1,080 points, uh, but as you can see the wattage has dropped significantly down to around 220 watts. I could tell that the GPU speeds were only reaching like sub 1,000, so this is a little bit too low. So we're going to jump up to 70, save it, and uh, yeah, again, clear your hardware monitor and just uh, go, go, go. So now we're getting somewhere, around uh, 1307 points, and the wattage is now at around 250. So it's like still 30% lower, but we're actually starting to get close to the uh, the points that we got at stock. So we're just going to add a little bit just to, you know, keep it supplied in case we get any kind of instability or such in the future. But 72 seems like a good spot. Clear it and go again. All right, so here we are, 1330 points and uh, 260 watts, so around 30% lower, but basically stock speeds and points. So the next thing that I like to do is I like to save this profile, so 72 power limit and 90 temp limit uh, on all of the uh, pr uh, profiles that you can save. You could save one of the profiles as uh, a stock profile, just in case, um, that's up to you. But yeah, and you can also set this program up to start with Windows if you want and uh, run the profiles that you've already set. As mentioned, uh, having a stock profile is probably not a bad idea because power limiting can introduce instability issues. So let me know if you experience any of that. But yeah, here we go. So just to be sure, I also wanted to try this out with Redshift. And this is with the 72% power limit. Uh, we're still getting, we're getting 1 minute and 18 seconds and still drawing approximately 260 to 270 watts. So just to uh, show the stock speeds, we're going to set up to 100 and uh, check the speed there. Yeah, and as you can see, the speed when running stock is not really much different. It's a two second difference. Uh, so yeah, it's not just Octane, it's also Redshift. So there you have it. Uh, it seems to work pretty well at benchmarks. I cannot say how well it's going to run uh, if you're doing actual projects, but I assume it's going to run basically the same. I am going to mention once again that if you do experience any kind of instability, I, I wouldn't blame you to just throw it up at 100 and just say, call it a day and just, you know, let it run. But I mean, if you feel like you're able to sit there and tweak and just, you know, find out where your sweet spot is, you could save a lot of money and your temperatures... Uh, thereby the longevity of your cards would uh, increase quite a bit. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. Remember that we're always ready to build new computers. Yeah, have a good day. See ya.